ZANU-PF's year has been dominated by reports of factional strife over a successor to Robert Mugabe. But in Mashingo, divisions were set aside. Support for the incumbent leader was total. Delegates are expected to confirm Mugabe, the ruling party's candidate, for 2018 elections when he'll be 94. He believes the party will prevail again. The party remains strong. There is no doubt about it. In fact, very strong and formidable by any account. We have all, we have had all our opponents frustrated, thrown down flat on the ground are enough. Opponents are both local and foreign. Countries that have been hostile to us and have all this time expected that Zanubiev and the Zanubiev government shall listen to them and, and that they shall be regime change and fail to, to achieve that. There has not been regime change and there shall not be regime change. But Mugabe also urged supporters to respect party channels. We do not run or organize matters of the party or settle our grievances through Twitter and those on our Facebook, etc., whatever happens. The conference closes Saturday. It's expected to pass resolutions for the accelerated implementation of Zim Asset, an economic turnaround strategy which the ZANU-PF government adopted soon after winning elections in 2013. The party has just one year left to deliver on promises of millions of jobs, revived industries, and improved social service delivery. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Mashingo, Zimbabwe.